The SBase CFG setting, Calc Lock Block, controls how many blocks SBase is able to fix on while calculating a block that needs lots and lots of other blocks. Now there are actually three settings that we collectively call Calc Lock Block. Those are Calc Lock Block High, Calc Lock Block Default, and Calc Lock Lock Low. When SBase calculates a block, it needs to not only fix on the block you're trying to put the result in, it needs to also fix on all the blocks it needs to come up with that block. For instance, say you're trying to calculate the block market. Well, you're also going to need to load into memory and lock the block for east, west, south, and central. Now, normally the blocks it needs to lock are the block's children. So for market's case, east, west, south, and central all were in a total market. It might end up being more blocks than that, Maybe it's a complicated member formula that points all over the database. Maybe it's a sparse member that has hundreds and hundreds of children. The good news, once you're done calculating that block, it releases that block plus all the blocks it needed to calculate that block. As I said before, there's no actual calc lock block setting. You have different settings for the high number of blocks you might want to lock, default number of blocks you might want to lock, or low number of blocks you might want to lock. So each one of these would be a line in your SBase CFG, which would be that setting, and then a space, and then the number of blocks that you actually want to lock. And it doesn't always lock exactly that number. That's essentially the maximum number of blocks it will lock when you tell it to use that setting. Now the default for the default is 100 blocks. If you set a number that's too big, maybe your data cache is fairly small and you say calc lock block 7 million, well, it can only really lock up to half the data cache, so it will actually lower your calc lock block number to half the amount of blocks that will fit fully expanded into the data cache. If you have a sparse block that has more than 100 children or you have a really complicated formula, it might be a good idea to go into your calc lock block settings and up them above 100 and then tell your calc script to use those numbers. In the calc script, the way you tell it which calc lock block number you want to use is you say set space lock block space and then either high, default, or low. Now I have no idea why they won't just let you say set space lock block space and then a number of blocks, but you can't. You have to say high, default, or low. If you'll notice, about halfway down, there are three calc lock block settings. You can't set them to a specific application or database, so it's kind of nice that they give you three of them. But my high is set to lock up to 500 blocks, default is set to lock up to 200 blocks, and low is set to lock up to 50 blocks.